Hey Dan, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing, and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in, and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But we'll go ahead and get started. The three things we'll be going over are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and that's anything you can see on your site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what your pictures are saved as. And Google likes to see about 1,500 words on the homepage of a website. And within those 1,500 words, that gives you all the opportunity to be able to add in keywords that people are searching for when they're looking for your services. So on your site, it works a little differently since you are selling products. Um, you can use little blurbs like this towards your content um, quota of 1,500 or what Google likes to see anyway. Um, but also, you can use your product descriptions. That's as a place to get that content, but also you can add keywords in there as well. Um, so your website looks fantastic. My only suggestion really would be just to go through and look for places where you can integrate in more content, and that way you can work in those keywords. That's going to help out a tremendous amount when you're trying to get ranked on Google. So moving on to the next thing, which is citations. And the first thing you see when you do a search usually is this section. This is called the map pack, and citations have a lot to do with that. So a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and really anywhere else that will allow business owners to add in their details. So you would want to check out where your competition is being listed within those directories and grab those listings for your business but then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you wanna grab those 10, and then you wanna add on another 20, 30, 40. That's gonna have you completely dominating them in that space, but it also helps you to rank high on the maps here. So moving along to backlinks. And backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way that backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site and it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work with someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided that they're going to take a link from their site and send one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's not going to be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other CBD companies, other hemp companies that send a link back to your site and signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. That will be a lot more unique, but also more powerful to Google because it is relevant to your industry. And I pulled up one of the tools that I use here just so I can give you a visual representation. So it's showing currently you all have 13 referring domains which are giving you 143 backlinks, getting you found for 22 keywords, and that's driving about four people to your site each month. And now here's one of the top competitors, so it's showing they have 72 referring domains, giving them 1.53 thousand backlinks, getting them found for 499 keywords, and that's driving about 306 people to their site per month. So let's take a look at the keywords they're using um, and we're looking for buyer intent keywords. Now that's going to be anything that someone's going to think to actually type into that search bar when they're looking for your services. With you all selling products on your website, it works a little bit differently. So all of these words that are phrases that don't have a specific location behind them, like this one does, for instance, would be fine for you to use. Since you all are not having to have someone actually go to a physical location to purchase products from you, um, you can target the entire United States if you want to. If you did just have a store, you would want um, you know, something like this that had the specific location behind it. Um, and I'm certainly not gonna bore you and have us go through all of these hundreds of keywords, but I hope this at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things that you would want to integrate into that content on your site. And truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But as we spoke about before, also always adding on to that, that way you're far surpassing your competitors. That is the kind of thing that gets you on that first page of Google. 
But that is all that I have for you today, Dan. I do hope that this video was helpful for you. If you'd like to know more about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you about that. But thank you again for your time and you have a fantastic weekend.